Now shall my solemn vows be paid to that almighty power that heard the long requests I made in my distressful hour. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Saturday, May the 31st, and today we celebrate the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. The scripture for this service, Psalm 72, and 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 through 20. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia! Give your ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia! Psalm 72. Alleluia! Give your ruler, the ruler, your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Your ruler shall judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. And the mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills shall bring righteousness. And your ruler shall judge the poor of the people and save the children of the needy, and shall break the oppressor into pieces. Your ruler shall live as long as the sun and the moon endure throughout all generations. Your ruler shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days, righteousness shall flourish an abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. Your ruler shall have dominion from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. And they that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The rulers of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring gifts. The rulers of Sheba and Seba shall offer tribute. Yes, all nations shall fall down before your ruler, all nations shall serve him. For your ruler shall deliver the needy when they cry, and the poor that have no helper. Your ruler shall spare the poor, and shall save the lives of the needy. Your ruler shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And your ruler shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba, and prayer shall be made for him continually and daily he shall be praised. There shall be a handful of corn upon the earth, upon the tops of the mountains. The fruit will shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. Your ruler's name shall endure forever. His name shall last as long as the sun. All people shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call your ruler blessed. Blessed be God most high, the God of Israel, who does wondrous things, and that blessed be God's glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with God's glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Now there was a certain man of Ramathiam, a Zuphite from the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, son of Jeroham, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zuth, an Ephraimite. He had two wives, one was named Hannah, and the other was Peniana. Peninnah had children, but Hannah had no children. Now this man used to go up year by year from his town to worship and to sacrifice to the Most High of hosts at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas were priests of Yahweh. On the day when Elkanah sacrificed, he would give portions to his wife and all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah he gave a double portion, <clears throat> because he loved her, and though the Most High had closed her womb. 
Her rival used to provoke her severely to irritate her, because the Most High had closed her womb. And so it went on year by year, as often as she went up to the house of the Most High, she used to provoke her. Therefore Hannah wept and would not eat, and her husband Elkanah said to her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? Why is your heart sad? Am I not more to you than ten sons? And after they had eaten and drunk at Shiloh, Hannah rose and presented herself before the Most High. Now Eli the priest was sitting on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple, and she was deeply distressed, and she prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. She made this vow, O God of hosts, if only you will look on the misery of your servant and remember me, and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a male child, that I will set him before you as a Nazarite until the day of his death. He shall drink neither wine nor intoxicants, and no razor shall touch his head. As she continued praying before the Most High, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying silently, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard, and therefore Eli thought she was drunk. And so Eli said to her, How long will you make a drunken spectacle of yourself? Put away your wine. But Hannah answered, No, my lord, I am a woman deeply troubled. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have been pouring out my soul before the Most High. Do not regard your servant as a worthless woman, for I have been speaking out of my great anxiety and vexation all this time. Then Eli answered, Go in peace. <clears throat> the God of Israel grant the petition you have made. And she said, Let your servant find favor in your sight. And then she went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and her countenance was sad no longer. They rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Most High, and then they went back to their house at Ramah. And Elkanah knew his wife Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. And in due time Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of Yahweh. Here is ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for our church leaders, for this gathering, for all ministers and people. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all people, and for justice and peace. For the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, for those in prison, especially Robert, and for those in any need or trouble. For all who seek God, or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may be found, they may find and be found. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially Howard, Brian, Dwight, and Caden, and for all of those who have died. For the Mercy of God community, which begins its spring vocations retreat on uh, June or May the 28th, and for safe travel for all the participants of that retreat. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, lead us in the ways of justice and truth, that peace may flourish in our day. Soften our hearts, that we may have compassion on all your children, especially the poor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
we trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>